the following two chains news. Wait, let me let me let me try that again. The following two chains news comes courtesy of hiphopwire.com. Hiphopwire.com writes, and I quote. Back in the spring of 2013, 2 Chainz was prepping the release of his sophomore studio effort based on a true story to Me Time and was revving up his stage show with a string of appearances in his native habitat of Atlanta. According to a lawsuit filed by Rockmo Entertainment attorney Jerry R. Caldwell, the superstar rapper is ho- pause. Let me stop this fucking story real quick. Did they really goddamn call 2 Chainz a fucking superstar? Oh my fucking god. First of all, just for the record, Drake, Lil Wayne, even whack ass Eminem, Kanye West, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Jigga Jay Z, Nicki Minaj with her big fake booty, those are all superstar rappers. Two Chains is not a fucking superstar, so guys, get that shit together. Stop trolling. Anyway, the superstar rapper is accused of a breach. Ooh. Ooh. He must be an Illuminati. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Two Chains, stop me from talking. What the hell is going on? They put some voodoo on me. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this again. I, I'm sorry. I, please forgive me, 2 chains. Ooh, I can read again. Okay. The superstar rapper is accused of a breach of contract where he paid him $60,000 to perform at Wild Bill's nightclub located at 2075 Market Street in Zolif, Georgia. As a condition for the pay performance, it is alleged that 2 chains' real name Taweed Epps was forbidden from marketing and or promoting in Atlanta two weeks before or after the May 11, 2013 Rockmo Entertainment event. The lawsuit states it only took the true university cartel hours to renege on the agreement as they reportedly performed at the mansion Elon for local radio station Hot 107.9 on the same night. Mr. Epps and his team blatantly violated a very basic obligation of my client's agreement, Caldwell says in a statement. Rockmo Entertainment fulfilled all of its contractual obligations, including but not limited to paying two chains sixty thousand dollars as a result of all of the defendants' bad faith and willful disregard for two chains contractual obligations with Rockmo Entertainment. My client has suffered extreme financial damages and irreparable harm to its professional representation at the end of the day. Everyone made money at the expense of my client, end quote. They are asking for $1.5 million in compensatory and punitive damages. Do you think GQ, Gentleman's Quarterly, will help foot the bill, end quote? Wow. Okay, so here's my opinion. This sucks. 2 chains is too fucking old to do this young boy shit. Titty should have been minding his business. But no. Why do the right thing when you can get your silly self sued for a grip? Damn you, titty boy. If you don't want that shmoney, I gladly accept it. I can mumble garbage lyrics into a microphone and do ad-libs all day. True. See what I mean? Get yourself together, titty boy. We need some more songs to laugh at. Joe your whack dressing self. Anyway, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Please leave me a comment if you're one of the fools that bought a goddamn 2 Chains album. Meat Magazine.